For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Previously, we mentioned that THF could donate a methyl group from N5-methyl-THF, but that it wasn't a particularly good methyl group donor. In this video, we're going to talk about how S-adenosylmethionine, or SAM, is basically the primary methyl group donor. It's the preferred methyl group donor, and it's the one that pretty much does all the, the methyl group donation. And it looks like this. This is SAM right here. Um, this portion of the molecule comes from the amino acid methionine. So um, this portion right here specifically is the side chain. And so that, that side chain has a methyl group attached to the sulfur, and that's going to actually be the one carbon group that we donate. That's going to be the actual methyl group that's going to be donated. Um, and then the rest of the molecule here comes from adenosine, which is a nucleoside. Okay. Now, SAM is not a vitamin in the way that uh, the other two one carbon donors, biotin and THF are. Well, why is that? Why, why is it not a vitamin? Well, it's because our cells can actually make it. And part of the definition of a vitamin, one of the defining features of a vitamin is that it cannot be made by our cells. It must be consumed in our diet. So how is it that we can make it? Let's check this out. Okay. So we'll start at the top left here with methionine. Start over here with methionine. We've labeled that one carbon group in red so that we can keep track of it. Um, so we're, we'll start off with methionine and ATP to basically get, to basically make methionine. So let's do some arrow pushing here. Let's do the arrow pushing in uh, the turquoise color here. So this sulfur will nucleophilically attack this carbon right here on adenosine, causing these electrons to hang out on oxygen, basically kicking off the triphosphate group as a leaving group. That will be the leaving group, or LG. I'll abbreviate that there. So that triphosphate group comes off, and that's already kind of weird. That's not usually what we see. When the nucleophile attacks ATP, it normally comes in. I'll do this in a different color. It would normally come in and attack phosphorus right kicking off an inorganic uh, pyrophosphate but that's not what's happening here so this reaction is already kind of weird um, worth noting that okay anyway so that that um, the triphosphate leaving group comes off and that is hydrolyzed off into an inorganic phosphate and an inorganic uh, pyrophosphate that portion, those two aspects of the reaction, the combining of methionine and ATP, kicking off this leaving group and hydrolyzing um, the triphosphate group into an inorganic phosphate and an inorganic pyrophosphate is catalyzed by methionine adenosyl transferase, or MAT. Once you have that pyrophosphate, that can be uh, hydrolyzed off into uh, two inorganic phosphates by an inorganic phosphatase, or inorganic pyrophosphatase, which I'm not showing here, but I'm saying it. Anyway. That's how we make s adenosyl methionine, or SAM. Because now we have SAM um, attached here. Uh, or we have the methionine attached to the, uh, the adenosyl portion, so we have SAM. And that one carbon group there, that methyl group, can be donated. Okay. So we'll start off with SAM. Um, so that, that answers the question of how s adenosyl methionine is made. Now, s adenosyl, s -adenosyl methionine, uh, or SAM, acts as a methyl group donor. And... Um, when it donates a methyl group, it, it basically happens like this. We'll start off with SAM and some species that doesn't have a methyl group that needs a methyl group. And so that, that, that methyl group requirement will be satisfied by SAM. It'll give up its methyl group to that species, making that species that initially didn't have a methyl group, now it has one. And when SAM loses that methyl group, it becomes S-adenosyl homocysteine, or SAH. Okay, so now that one carbon group is gone. And this would be catalyzed by a methyl transferase, some methyl transferase, depend, often named for whatever it is that we're attaching the methyl group to. Okay. Um, so that gives us s adenosyl homocysteine. Now we can use this to actually um, use this in the process of basically regenerating SAM. So the first, pro the first step to, to get that, uh, or to get that to happen, is we're going to hydrolyze off the uh, adenosine. Hydrolyze off the adenosine portion. 
using some hydrolase. And that'll, of course, that, that adenosine comes off. And we're left with just homocysteine, which is an amino acid. It's not a proteogenic amino acid, not one of the 20 that we know to, that make proteins. But it is an amino acid. It's got an amino group, carboxyl group, uh, excess details. I'm kind of uh, getting off track here. Anyway, this homocysteine is uh, very similar in structure to methionine. It's basically just missing the methyl group. So all we need to do to get from homocysteine to methionine is to add a methyl group. So we need a methyl group donor. This is where N5-methyl-THF um, comes into play. So this is N5-methyl-THF. It's actually going to donate its uh, methyl group and become THF. And this reaction requires a cofactor, coenzyme B12 or cobalamin, which is actually, this is one of the two reactions in which uh, this coenzyme B12 is used. And this reaction is catalyzed by methionine synthase. Now, this reaction is of particular significance um, because it's basically two one carbon transfer cofactors sort of working together, right? Uh, we got THF and we've got basically SAM. It's not actually SAM working here, but um, the the whole, this it's kind of a cycle here. Um, with, with SAM getting regenerated um, by regenerating uh, methionine to produce it. Um, and that, that's sort of working with the, the tetrahydrofolate. So it's, that's kind of interesting in that sense. I figured I'd note it. Um, also, this is the uh, only reaction in which N5-methyl-THF donates a methyl group. So it really isn't a good methyl group donor, but it donates a methyl group to homocysteine to create methionine. So we can make SAM, which is the methyl group donor. Okay. Anyway, that's about it. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.